hey what's up guys welcome back to my flutter tutorials and in this video we will uh, be talking about block pattern so block is actually business logic components so this name is given by google itself so now we'll talk about it and this video is in continuous uh, of the previous video so if you haven't watched that then you should watch it first so then again so in that video we talked about the inherited widget and uh, scope model so again we will start with the scope model and finish with block pattern so basically we have seen that uh, what are the advantages of inherited widgets and disadvantages of it and where a scope model comes so if you remember then in a scope model we could access the state we could uh, update the changes and uh, we could um, but uh, we could also you know um, uh, eliminate that set state thing and uh, the problem was that uh, this uh, when we use this floating action button and here you can see we have to uh, for this uh, descendant we have to say uh, rebuild on change is equal to false which means that uh, whenever we there will be um, there will be change in the data this descendant will, will not be rebuilt okay so earlier it it was not working because we needed to we actually need to uh, restart or hot restart to see the changes which i didn't uh, did in my previous video so it is working fine as you can see if i will now click on this plus button this counter is increasing but the color is not changing oh that is why we are using random container so that we can see if there is a color change now let's make it true and then let's see what happens so we will do a hot restart and now if i will click on this plus you can see every time i click on this plus this widget is also getting changed so that is the advantage of this uh, rebuild on change so if we see this scoped model then we can see that every time there are two things which we need to make sure first is the whenever we have some data change then we have to use this notify listener so that every descendant so this scoped model descendant wherever we have used it they all will rebuild themselves and uh, if you we, we don't want to rebuild any of that uh, descendant then we need to uh, use this property rebuild on change is false so this can be uh, like uh, someone can like it but someone can also dislike it because uh, this they, they you have to remember it otherwise uh, you are going to uh, lose performance of your application somehow so um now we will see what is block pattern and how we can solve this issue so what we will do we will use two things first with uh, inherited widget itself and the another thing is uh, block so i have created already this counter block if you can see this so here we have this my counter class variable we can we don't need it actually so you can just delete it so first thing is we have an additional controller which is actually the stream controller okay so if you don't know about stream controller then you can go there and read it so um, this is a controller with the stream it controls okay so basically it controls the um stream basically it, it it allows sending data errors and events etc so what are streams streams are basically uh you can say uh, some sequence of data it can be it can include user generated events or it can be any data read reading from like files so th those are streams so basically we are going to use streams here so as you can see we have a property add which is actually a sync of type my counter so sync is basically to taking input so whenever you use block pattern you can do only two things like take the input and give the output so for input you will use sync and for output you will use stream okay so again we have this item controller which is similar to additional controller but this item controller we will use with stream and uh, here we can see item controller dot stream so for the constructor part we have oh there is a listener for this additional controller because this addition controller is when we click on the plus button that means we can click this plus button many times so every time there will be a data change and when that data will change we want to listen to that change okay so that we can rebuild our widget or redraw our widget okay so here we have this method on listen when when we do this listening thing then this on add method calls and then it increase the count 
my counter class class if you remember then there is a method increase count which increase the counter by one and similarly what we do we add that counter to this item controller which is actually uh, streaming the count to this is item count okay so this is our counter block i know this is not uh, you you may be not familiar with this and it can take time but uh, you can do a little bit practice and you will understand what what's actually happening so you have to remember two things first is sync second is stream sync for input and stream for output and the generic type would be the same what what data you want to like uh, in future uh, however we use future similarly we use um, this stream okay so this is our counter block then we have one more thing which is this uh, count block provider which is basically an inherited widget so this is an extending inherited widget again we have a counter block which we are just uh, which i just show you and then we have a child widget and everything is same we already talked it about in the previous video now let's go to main.dart so rather than um here we have seen that uh, we are wrapping this scaffold with a scoped model earlier but now we will change it and now we will uh, wrap it with count provider count block provider okay so this is inherited widget so we have already used inherited widget in previous video so it is similar to that that approach obviously it takes a child but it also takes a block so here we can say new counter block okay this counter block is where we have all those streams and all is it count block what it is one second guys let me just check the name okay one second okay there is no k sorry <laughs> so let's important okay so now we have a block which is count block and uh, a child which is basically scaffold so this is how you know that uh, this uh, uh, inherited widget works so now we are getting this error with class 3 because there we are using scoped model descendant but now we don't have any scope model so we'll fix it so here uh, in the floating action button you can see we have this scoped model descendant which we don't want so we will just delete every part of it and uh, then we can also delete this okay so now on pressed what will happen so uh, basically what we can do here um we can take a variable here i guess we can say oh here in the build itself we can say my counter is equal to new my counter first of all okay and then we will provide the value of counter as zero okay and we can make it aware okay so now if you see nothing actually happening on pressed what we can do first of all we can access this car uh, this uh, block which is the counter block so we need to keep it outside so here we can again say card block sorry counter block count block counter block okay block why this is okay so here we can say new counter block or counter block okay and now we can just say block so this is the block which we want now here rather on on pressed what we will do we will ask the block to give this add which is for input so we are basically providing an input so we will access this dot add and here we need to add the data and uh, the data would be this my counter so basically the first data is basically uh, this uh, my counter object which is having the counter as zero by default as you can see and then we have this uh, block which is basically uh, includes all the streams and everything the sync and stream everything okay so this is what we need to do now we will go to class 3 where we have scope model descendant of course we don't want it now uh, we want something to build it right but what so we will use here a stream builder okay so what is that stream builder let's see first so you can see this stream builder is actually um there's a definition no okay so let me just tell you what are stream builders so uh stream builder is actually something which will uh, rebuild itself based on the latest snapshot of data 
so this snapshot of data it will get from the stream itself okay so let's say um there will be some properties like there should be a builder which will take a snapshot which will uh, take a context and a snapshot in the parameter that is fine and then it has a stream okay so it will take that stream and basically it will listen to every change in the snapshot and then it will rebuild itself whenever there will be change in that snapshot okay so what will be the stream okay that is a good question so first of all we need to access that uh, counter block and that is why we have used inherited widget to access it here without using any constructor or everything so what we can do now we can say uh, here counter block we will import it first of all block and then we can use count block provider okay this is an inherited widget if you don't know what I am doing then you should watch my previous video and then we can access the block here okay now we have the block now we can use this block dot item count okay so this item count is basically that uh, stream which we want okay so basically we want to show the count so basic uh, so that is why we need this item count and we can also say this is an integer value so this is a, and here rather than model dot counts now we can say snapshot dot data okay now yeah this is working so this is what we have done here we have implemented a stream builder which is listening to this stream and uh, whenever there is a change in this data or basically the snapshot so it takes the latest snapshot and pass it and we can access its data and we can display it and if you see here on the counter block i have already told you what's happening here it is listening to the addition and here you can see we are just uh, doing block dot add dot add add is basically the sync variable where we are adding our my counter value okay now i will just uh, hot restart it so that we can get some values and there is a trick maybe why it is zero so let's click on this plus and you can see this is uh, increasing my counter but initially it was null if you see again so why this is happening we need we need to go back to class 3 so we can go here and we can also uh, apart from stream and builder we can give it an initial data so initial data let's say 0 okay and now if you if I will rebuild it or hot restart it then you can see class 3 is 0 count is 0 and now if I will click on this plus then yeah, this is working so this is the advantage of block pattern is like uh, you don't have to use set state okay you don't have to uh, use notify listener obviously you but you have to listen to this stream so um, yeah you need this uh, block of code but the main thing is that uh, your rebuild will be minimized so uh, earlier what was happening is that whenever you don't want to rebuild a particular widget you were mentioning their rebuild on change is equal to false okay so uh, that, that is something which uh, you don't have to use in this case and you don't have to remember every time which widgets needs to be uh, redrawn or which widgets uh, does not need to redraw so uh, this is the advantage of a block pattern obviously this is not something which you get just by watching this video you need to do it yourself so um, I guess this is pretty useful and uh, you can use now you have a lot of choice you have inherited widget if that's uh, your use case you have scope model you have redux you have block pattern so every video is available on my channel if you want to check them out then you can check them out and link will be in the description you can also go to github to check all the source codes and you can implement them and i'll come with more such examples i'll definitely focus some uh, more on the advanced topics now so you can uh, expect some advanced topics videos uh, in future so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video this all pattern kind of stuff and if you did then please like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber and please don't forget to uh, press on that ring bell because that is how you will get future updates of my videos and that's it i hope 
uh, we will see some new topics and some new clones in the next video so bye bye take care and i'll see you in the next video